Sometimes I just can't sleep at night. Just creative things going round and round in my head. So I need to get out, have a walk, have a think. Maybe take some photos or something. I grabbed my camera, my tripod, and my Patrick, that's Patrick all light, and out I went. set the camera on a time exposure and painted Renbury Church lift bridge with light. I'm currently setting up a merchandise site to sell prints and cards of my canal photographs. details of the site soon. In this episode, I encounter some of the many lift bridges on this canal. I witness huge fleets of holiday boats lying idle and a bad bout of wind causes a canal blockage. I'm at Renbury now and I've just been through the first of three lift bridges. One of the lift bridges is automated, I believe, so it'll need a British Waterways key. The grey building in the distance is Renbury Wharf, which is an old mill building. On approaching the wharf, I was amazed to see the fleet of holiday boats all moored up because of COVID-19. As I drew closer, I wasn't entirely sure what this guy was up to. I'm all up again in that youth group. Because uh -huh. it's kind of like, right. okay, it's a pain in the ass. Oh, well, there's a few of us coming through as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. He moored on the offside and opened the automated lift bridge, letting myself and the boat behind through first. One thing I have noticed since being on the Llangosson Canal is the really, really huge oak and ash trees you have along the edge of the towpath. Now I'm guessing that they must have been planted there around about when the canal was built, which is probably about 250 years ago. I can't remember the exact date. But I mean, some of the ash trees, I've never seen such huge ash trees. And it is such a delight to see 
so many really really large oak trees as well. Fabulous. It turns out that it was the canal owner's policy to plant these trees to sustain the boat building on the canal. I left Renbury Frith lift bridge open as another boat was coming towards me. I'm just coming up to Marbury Lock. Marbury, incidentally, uh, which I hear is a very pretty village. Uh, I've not been there myself yet. But um, yeah, Marbury means fortification on a hill. Well, I'm above Marbury Lock now and the uh, countryside is beginning to take on a more kind of undulating, uh, talking about undulating, undulating under the tree. Um, yeah, it's taking on a more undulating what's the word appearance that's right that was the word I was looking for god I'm getting old <laughs> um, yeah which is kind of quite pleasant I'm, I'm assuming that uh, it'll get more and more hilly as we get nearer and nearer to Wales I'm moored in an isolated spot close to the Cheshire and Shropshire County borders. And again, storm clouds built and rumbles of thunder were heard. But we were treated to a rather spectacular sunset. The Llangollen Canal, originally called the Ellesmere Canal, was built to transport coal and iron from this fairly remote region. The ambition was to be able to take cargo onto the River Severn via Newtown and up to the River Mersey by utilising the River Dee to access the markets in Liverpool and Manchester and further north. The canal really is rather overgrown in places around here. Yep, watch stuff on your roof. These are the visitor moorings, just below Grindley Brook Lock Flight and Staircase Locks. So, if you're not going to go up the whole flight, you need to moor here. There's no mooring in between the bottom and the top. Railway Bridge, number 27, has some outstandingly good brickwork. Just have a look at that brickwork. That's a piece of art. 
It was built in 1872, linking nearby Whitchurch with Chester. It's been disused since 1963. I'm pulling in and tying up as the bottom lock is just under that bridge. Sadly, because of the situation, I couldn't actually capture any footage going up the Grindley Brook locks or the staircase locks. So we rejoin my travels at my mooring in Danson's Wood in Whitchurch. And I'll try to film the locks on my return journey. Having explored Whitchurch and done some shopping, it was time to move on. Seems I'm drifting past drift fenders. I don't think I've overtaken a moving boat before. Oh look, here's another boat tuber's boat, Colin Jacks. The town of Whitchurch can be accessed by walking across the upcoming lift bridge and taking the towpath down to Whitchurch. I'll be doing a vlog on the four Llangollen Arms and the Montgomery Canal on my way back. As I approached Bridge 31, another boater was lifting the bridge. I decided to moor on the offside. If I'd run down the boat and jumped out of the bow doors, I could have tied the bow line to the mushroom before the wind caught me and blew the boat across the canal, blocking the exit for the oncoming boat. I hauled Reverie back in on the middle line. A quick spurt from the other boat's bow thruster and he was clear to pass. The original Whitchurch arm, to the left of the screen here, used to run three quarters of a mile, that's about 1200 metres, into the town centre. Most of it was filled in now only 300 metres are navigable. Just past Bridge 31A, another fleet of holiday boats is tied up.
The Llangollen is usually one of the busiest waterways in Britain. In 2018, New Martin Lock was used 8,831 times, making it the second busiest lock in Britain that year. And so, I'm leaving Whitchurch behind. I hope you can join me soon for another trip down the Llangollen.